That's a warmer, though. Hmm. 1950. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're all dated. They have yeah. a date somewhere. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, interesting. I see one of those old refrigerators a little bit before I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. That's how big they were. The freezer was so small. Yeah. Take my clothes <laughs> off the line. And probably I stopped too, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, see no, that one good. is. Oh, so mm. oh, 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 dear. Oh, slept. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jackson, above the Jackson Mountain, okay. where they 
I'm wondering what I never seen an herb store like this yeah. right now. So what what was it like? <laughs> yeah, back at back in the olden days. Well, they they don't exist anymore. Not, not not even in San Francisco. But the the rent has got so high that they they, they, they don't exist. It's, Costs a lot of money to to rent places that they don't exist anymore. So we'll but, see. So. Yeah, but we did everything there. We went there and got tea that they boil in the back, you know, and you sit and drink your tea. Yeah. Mm. I can't see anything that gives a date. Oh, it's there. Oh, yes. Nice and big. <laughs> it's in English. Also, I'm going to tell you what. It's what? like, um, it's like, where's Waldo? Oh. And there's a box of Seas candy in every one of those. Yeah, things. I noticed that. I love Seas. Yeah, did you find, find oh. it? No, in this one, no. Oh, there it is, yeah. Well, they're in every one of them, just like the date is in every one of them. It almost feels... A little. This this was feels a lot different than I, I remember. No. So, Do you see the date? I <laughs> thought it was. It was. The other one's not easy. Around night. I don't know. No, he like, said they're dated. Every one of them is dated. Ah. You have to know your. You have to know your. Uh, your horoscope. It's a year of the pig. Oh. See the, that, I would never pick up on that. You see the pig. Oh, yes. Okay, and you're the pig, and then you figure, I did these 20 years ago. So I'm going to go the day. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the other ones were easy because the calendar and these papers, that was easy to figure out. That one I could now with the thing about. You want? And that's a shift. Hmm. Oh, wow. the shoe shines. I came out for the day. This is my project for the class, is to come out and spend time in Chinatown and learn about the culture more and write a paper on it. Yeah. Well, the reason Seas Candy is in the, in the, um, in the, uh, all my miniatures is because I was walking down, uh, one day down to the, Owen, where the Owen Emporium used to be, now it's a way to go shopping center. The food dome was still there. Okay. And I was walking in there, and this young lady holding a child said to me, Mr. Wong, how are you? And I said, Oh, I'm fine. And, and she started to talk to me and said, What is on? And when somebody says Mr. Wong, I have to know it. Because I don't remember. Right. So we had a nice conversation with her, and then after a while she says, I don't know who I am, really. And I said, I don't know He said, no, but I attended one of your lectures uh, at the library here, the branch of the library, and my miniature used to be there. And they had a thing called Teen Zone, where the teenager would go there and they would talk about different things and so forth. Yes. 
And since my miniature is on display in the children's department, uh, book department, uh, they, all the teenagers would drift down there they were my miniatures. So they decided they weren't interested in anything else like a computer or this or that. So they decided to come and do a lecture on miniatures. Okay? So, Seas Candy was a very, very valuable thing for us. And I found out that it was still today. I had two ladies who were here with their children. And she's a oh, native San Francisco, and it was for them also. She said, oh, I used to dream about going in and getting a free piece of candy. Yeah. Right? And so, anyway, so in my case, uh, Seas Candy was very, very expensive. So our family members, we give them away as presents, because it was a precious thing. We give them lots of candy away. Uh, it was a tradition of giving them candy, but there was nothing coming in from China. Okay, so the population, the Chinese population, switched to cheese candy. Cheese candy. So, and we we would the family members would get all the kids together to go buy one box of cheese candy, and all the kids would get free samples, including the adult. There you go. That's their tradition, right? Yeah. And in my case, I would take it home and I would cut it in three pieces for my siblings and myself. Okay? And that was our treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this lady says to me, she says, I did, I've been looking for all of you, she says, because I did my college thesis on Seas Candy and with it right for the Chinese community. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so she says, and I always appreciate that, and I appreciated the time that you spent with me at the library. She says, I can always, I can, I think about you all the time when I see a tree, because you taught me how to make a tree out of nature, to look realistic. And then on top of that, you said to me, you see. Not only God can make a tree, you can make one too. And she said, every time I see a tree, I think of you. And I said, oh wow, you know. So anyway, so so that's why we see candies on every one of the uh, my, uh, my grandmother moved here from England. And uh, they, yeah, every year, it's all she ever wants for her birthday, any holiday, she bought us some candy because she grew up here. And I wasn't allowed to have candy. Um, my parents, you know, they say, no, no, no candy. In fact, that, that's why you see a $5 bill in the paper in my pocket. Yeah. Because my grandmother had the $5, I wish you were thinking, I never had $5 when I was in my life when I was small. She would take the change, two or three pennies, because she would buy it for one penny buy candy, you know? two or three pennies, a nickel sometimes, and then she, if she knows I was coming, we were coming to visit, and it would be like the weekends coming, she would put ten cents in there, five cents for the movie, and five cents for candy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it was definitely more than that last time. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, no, thank you for coming. I uh, appreciate it very much. And I hope you enjoyed the prayer. Oh, yeah. Thank you, too. Uh, <coughs> you do? Uh, do you? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Uh, so. well, we're always here every year when there's a parade. This is open house. Oh, so nice. Great. We just mm -hmm. recently moved to Sacramento, so now we're closer to San Francisco and we're from Oregon. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a trek from Oregon down here to ever do anything. I think the lady quickly realized that. It's going to be fun. We're excited about all the different things.
Oh my gosh, the literally. Full sack of mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. And they're more junk pots. That's a Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's <is> Christmas. <laughs> Why is that Christmas oh, now? Oh, it's like I, I was. I never seen a, a shoe shine and a laundry this this fancy before in my life. What? I never seen a, a shoe shine where a Roosevelt's deaf and the other one was a laundry one. What? Where would happen? That, that shoe shine stand is still there. We uh, just go straight down Sacramento and go to seven so on. It's still there, but it's the insides all good. It's just the outside. Uh, and a laundry one, same thing happened to the herb machine, the herb store. Yeah, it's like they got too much money. Yeah, it's, like you said, it got too much money to pay the rent. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the parade <laughs> like this year. Yeah, take your time, take your time. Yeah. You got some time yet. It didn't start till like five. <laughs> what do you like to do after the year of a dog parade? What's that? What are, you, what, are you, like, what are your plans after the parade? Well, I was in the parade every year until last year. Ah. I, I decided I can't, I can't do that walk anymore. So then I ride in the car for a while, but that was kind of boring, you know, ah. so, yeah. You just like it, oh, I, you, um, you rather watch in person? I, oh, no, no, I, 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 I go home and watch it. Ah. <laughs> I don't, I, you know, I don't have to deal with the crowd or anything. And you get the best part of the parade on TV anyway. Ah, uh, or the uh, computers. Right, that's right. what, that's... I meant to ask the uh, significance of the C's. Like, is it because you really liked C's as a kid? Is that why uh, many of your things have C's no, in no. them? Um, or is it I was your walking, family? I was walking down... Uh, uh, I had one box of C's candy in there, uh, being wrapped for, for Christmas in one of the scenes. And C's candy was a very precious commodity for us. Number one, it was very expensive. And when you go in to buy, and we would buy them as gifts, yeah, okay? And then when the, we, someone is, in the family is buying a box of C's candy, to get all the kids together and we would go down there to buy the candy, one box of candy, and all the kids would get a free sample, right? And also the person buying it gets a free sample. And that's where we get our candy, usually around New Year's time, okay? Uh, and in my case, we take the C's candy home, I cut it in three pieces, okay? One for each one of the kids, okay? And that's how we eat our candy. Then I was walking down um, to the O Emporium, which is the Wakefield Shopping Center, you yep. know, the dome. Yep. Okay. Uh, walking in, and this young woman holding a child comes up to me and says, um, Mr. Long, how are you? I said, fine. At my age, when somebody says, Mr. Long, how are you? I have to know them. <laughs> I don't know if they're relatives or what, you know, mm -hmm. so I always hold a conversation like I know them. And then in the course of the conversation, she said to me, you don't really know me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, <laughs> not really. She said, I said, well, are we related? She said, no. She said, I used to, I used to go to, I used to go to the uh, library where you hold lectures, right? And so forth and so on. <coughs> and you gave a, and you helped me make a tree, a miniature tree. And <coughs> I always remember that because every time I see a tree, I think about you because you told me, uh, not only God to make a tree, you're going to make one today. Okay. <laughs> and so she says, but above all things, I really wanted to find you to tell you that 
after attending your lecture and about Sikh's candy and how true that is in my family also, I did my college thesis on Sikh's candy and what it meant to the Chinese community. Oh, wow. And so, uh, she sent me a copy you know, of her thesis. And I went home that day and I started a box of Sikh's candy for every one of the miniatures. So you, cool. you're going to find a, a box in every one of them. Yeah. And I found out just by accident that they turned it into a game like Where's Waldo? <laughs> well, <You> know, <laughs> yeah. They say, oh, and then you, you get kids, they come in and they would ask the front desk, Where's the Seas Candy? <laughs> so. <sighs> and now they sell them in uh, Hong Kong and, and uh, Macau now. So oh, really? they, don't sell, they don't sell Seas in China, but they sell them in Hong Kong and Macau. Wow. Yeah. Because the Chinese, we, we had nothing coming from China. And you know, Chinese New Year's is sweet candy, you know, and stuff. And, and there was nothing coming in. So we, we switched from, the, from that to, to the chocolate, you know, out of necessity, you know. And C's candy was a precious gift to give someone. You know, Chinese, you always give something good. Yeah. So, so, what was your first memory regarding Chinese New Year's and Chinese New Year's parades Thanks in again. general? Okay. My first memory of Chinese New Year parade mm -hmm. was, um, it wasn't Chinese New Year parade that, that I remember. It was during the war, okay? They had fundraisers and selling war bonds and stuff like that. And my grandmother and my mother, all the women in, in, the, in the families, we hold a huge Chinese flag on the corners and all around the edge. And we would march down Grand Avenue, and the people would throw money in, into the, for war relief, oh. throw them into the, uh, into the, uh, into the flag. And the older ladies, you know, at the time, they, they want to throw dollars, but you can't throw a dollar. You never get it in there. But they would take off a, a jade ring, or they would take off a jade bracelet, or whatever, and, or earrings, and they would toss that heavy stuff in there if they didn't have any change. Oh, my. <laughs> that, was my that was my closest thing, thing to a memory that I can think of about, about a parade. Because it used to go down Grand Avenue. You know, it was a very short thing. Uh, there weren't really any floats. Whoever had a pickup truck or something, or, and they would get on that you know, and go down the street. Ah. Uh, so how much? How much has changed from what your what your first memories of during the wartime of Chinese New Year's and Chinese New Year parades? Have you noticed any changes? The most drastic change that I can think of is because, okay, the shoeshine stand, you saw that, right? Oh, yeah. I try to relate to a certain instances in my life. I, I make the shoeshine stand because of my <laughs> uncle. My uncle, every Friday, um, every Sunday, would put on his suit and his tie and his fedora hat and go ahead and get his shoe shine there. Ah. Okay? But one day I came home and my father was home and he says to me, Where's Uncle? And I said, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe he's down at the shoe shine stand. So he says to me, It's a hell of a time to go out today. And I looked at him, and it was the first time in my life I see my father cry. And the only time I ever see my father cry. Tears were running down his eyes. And I said, I said, I said to myself, what's wrong? Right? So then as he was walking away from me, he, he mumbles, it's a hell of a time to go out today. Roosevelt died today. Wow. <laughs> and when that president died, Theodore Roosevelt, 
That's when I was born. And that's president died, the whole world came to an end. Nobody moved. Nobody did anything. Everybody was in somber for weeks, you know. And that's that's what has changed because we don't hold that reverence to our president anymore. Uh, not that that is loss. Okay? I, I don't know what he did. I don't know why everybody did that. But everybody, of course, at that time, every time there's every school room in the school, you pledge allegiance to the flag, right? In the morning. And right next to the flag is the president's picture. It's there. I guess that's one of the reasons why everybody cried. I'm, I'm not sure, but that's what's changed. Yeah, that must. They, yeah. What what it meant to be a president of the United States of America? Ah, uh, that, that's changed. One thing I notice right now, like, well, well, they they no longer held. Anything regarding President Roosevelt, I I noticed there's this big, mass appeal to Chinese New Year parades and in general Chinese New Years. Oh yeah, because it's a festival time, ah. and everybody loves a parade, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every, I need some water or tea. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I'm going to get it right now. Thank ah. you so much. Excuse uh. me for a minute. No, thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> thank you. for coming. I really appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> it was take a, your time. The parade don't start for a while yet. Yeah, it's five something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have, 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 happy uh, New Year of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay.